Good afternoon everyone. Unfortunately I bring bad news with this video to you. But earthquakes, all of them are bad news. As you can see right here in the middle, Costa Rica has suffered a major 7.6 earthquake. Now we've been having a lot of quakes here in the last week. So if I dial this up some, you're going to be able to see that's the, the last 24 hours. And you can see over here in this region is still popping off all along the coast of California. You've got some uh, action down here in the Chilean way, Argentinian way, in those countries. We'll zip it up and we'll just go and put it on the last week. Well, you can see in the last week things have picked up quite substantially uh, throughout our western coast down here along well we were getting into the El Salvador stuff and Costa Rica has is, is, is developed some problems of their own when we come around the globe we can see that the Fiji area all along this Asian ring of fire in this in the last week had been getting pulverized it's it's and the Alaskan area right up here has also come to life you can see this gigantic streak of uh, quakes over here and Europe there's been a few of them not not as many as the rest of the world but we'll let it spring on around here and take a look at it Greece has had Crete Greece I believe has had some over there in Europe you see some in the Middle East You can also see way up here at the top, you know, 6.8. This will be during the last week. I'll go ahead and put this back to 24 hours. And you can still see there's a lot of stuff going on. So we have an update on what what has happened in Costa Rica. Two people have died, one from a heart attack it says. Twenty people were injured and two are missing. The numbers could rise as the assessment teams were checking for more damage. It happened at 10.42 a.m. Eastern Time at a depth of 25 miles, 7 miles southeast of Nicoya, 15,000 people in the town, 90 miles from the capital of San Jose. Government buildings were being evacuated. Tsunami warning for Panama, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica has been canceled. This lady that died from the heart attack was 55 years old. It's quite a scary situation down there. They have confirmed several buildings damaged in the capital. Called on the residents to remain calm. The power was out in Punarinas, capital of the province of the same name, where uh, Monsignor Senabria Hospital was evacuated for a structural review. A bridge over the Sotillo River collapsed in the town of Serapiqui. Some roads blocked by landslides. Everyone's scared, everyone's crying, everyone's shook up. Not specify an exact epicenter because the rupture zone was so wide. You can 
can see their little map. <clears throat> I'm giving you the area here. The predominant vulnerable building types are adobe block and mud wall construction. Well, that is not good. So be aware. that things are happening in the earth again major quakes seven pointers and high six pointers are beginning to rear their ugly heads once again everywhere in the world and all the people in it need our prayers because there's nothing that we can do to stop earthquakes and things like this we can't prevent them And once they've happened, high winds are going to bring carnage and fear. And as we've seen here, deaths. And remember the storm caused some deaths in the Dominican public, Storm Isaac, in the Dominican public and Haiti already and injuries so we were clipping along with you know mid-range magnitudes and the back side of the world opposite of us seemed to be pretty quiet while the Virgin Islands and El Salvador and California were having these rashes of the gobs of earthquakes and now <clears throat> You've got the Philippines and Indonesia and such. That are undergoing multiple earthquakes. There you see Costa Rica there with their 7.6. You can see Santa Cruz with a 5.9. The Philippines, the Virgin Islands, Taiwan, Santa Cruz, they're all involved. Alaska, offshore Mexico. California is still having a fairly low magnitude quakes. This would be yesterday. You see Chile, Chile, Philippines, Japan, 5.3 in the Philippines, 5.2 in Indonesia, Indonesia 5.1. So everywhere that we look for problems is developing. The Asian ring of fire is popping, and now it's infected, and there's a 6-4 from the third in Indonesia. Everywhere we look for a problem in the ring of fire, another fault line seems to be actively thumping. There's a 5-8 in the Philippines. I just wanted to get that out there real quick. You can be aware to our south and that's not a that's not t too god awful far away really from our country not in scope of things 7.6 so try to keep an eye on your earthquake situation and be aware because we've had earthquakes here if you remember last year into the fives. So y'all be safe, be careful. Pray to the Lord for all the world and all the people. We all need it. We're not done with 2012. We still got a little over three months, almost four left. So, there's a lot of stuff in 2012 that's happened that is not good, and it apparently is continuing. And we thought we might get a break and cruise on through, and it wouldn't be any worse than any other year. Well, it might be ramping up. We'll see. So, I'll speak to you real soon. 
God bless.